I received a singular Jaclyn Hill lipstick in the mail. We all know some of the drama that's going on with that. So I just wanted to put them to the test myself. Before I try or even look at the infamous Jaclyn Hill lipstick, I'm going to put some balm on. This is the Medusa's Makeup Balm, Salt and Peppermint. I've used this in every single video on my channel so far. This is the component. It says Jaclyn on it. I'm sure you've seen it. it. Has a nice little description of the lipstick. And this is the color Isla, which is the name of Jaclyn Hill's new niece. I think she was born like three days ago. I saw a photo, she's super cute. Congratulations, Jaclyn, on creating brand, even if there are some issues and everything. It's a big deal when a project comes to fruition. So the packaging is beautiful and it feels very luxurious and has this little diamond at the top. Okay, here's the moment. I'm gonna inspect this and there's some lights. So right off the bat, I see let me see if I can insert some, some close-ups, but the tip has all these little holes on it, and I see two of the infamous fibers. You can barely tell on this camera, but I'm going to insert a close-up or a photo or a video or something, and you watched me open this. It does smell really good, though. It smells like vanilla and cream, but... I do see the little hairs and I see the little holes. I'm not even gonna apply it. I don't even know, should I apply it? So you saw the photo with the holes and the little tiny little hairs. Granted, it's not not even close to what Raw Beauty Christie got or some of the others. I don't think I'm gonna wear this. It's a really nice color and it would have looked really nice on my skin, but I think what I'm gonna do is email them. If you get a defective product, you should send it back, plain and simple. I want to start by saying that I love Jacqueline. I am a subscriber and I haven't been a subscriber for that long but only because I recently discovered the glories of YouTube. When I did discover YouTube makeup and everything I subscribed to her almost right away and when I heard she was coming out with a brand I was really excited. There's an issue with the product. There is a production issue. The packaging was beautiful, the component was beautiful, and the color looks beautiful in the lipstick bullet. However, there is an issue with my lipstick. There are little holes in it and there are little fibers in the tip of the lipstick. That's an issue. It doesn't matter if I like Jacqueline or not, and I do like Jacqueline. She is so insanely talented. I don't think that anyone ever creates a collaboration with the intent of having it be bad or having there be issues with the way that a product is made. She didn't intend for this to happen. No one would. I probably will be sending this back and I keep saying I was going to include swatches but I feel like that's unfair. If I'm going to send it back then I should probably just not touch it at all. 